Hi guys, today we're doing a lesson on the bad guys. This cartoon can teach you a lot of advanced words. Let's get into the scene. I bet you will find this cartoon hilarious. Don't make me get all aggressive. <laughs> Animals. Spin it out. Let's see what they're saying about us today. So just a little bit of context. These bad guys are a bunch of crooks. And that's the first word of the day. A crook is an informal word for a criminal. And they're loving the fact that their crime is getting some coverage on television. Shut up, it's Tiffany Fluff at Channel 6 Action News. The bad guys have struck my Guys, head. guys, stop it, we're on TV. Yet, once more that they are the most diabolical criminals of our time. Ooh, diabolical. That's new. You know what it sounds like? A cologne. Diabolical. <laughs> That's our second word of the lesson, diabolical, which means absolutely evil, diabolical, with stress on be, diabolical. <laughs> the most crime spree is the newly elected governor, Diane Foxington. Governor? Yes, yeah, I hear you, I hear you. Listen, listen, we all know how dastardly the bad guys are. You bet we are. Dastardly. We all know how dastardly the bad guys are. Dastardly is a formal word which means uh, wicked or evil. So we've got two words that roughly mean the same thing, diabolical, and the second word was dastardly. But more than anything, <laughs> I feel sorry for them. What? These so-called bad guys are really just second-rate has-beens. These so-called bad guys are just second-rate has-beens. Okay, a couple of words that I need to clarify here. The first one is an adjective, second-rate, which means average, not good enough, mediocre. And a has-been is someone who is no longer successful. Behind their amateurish antics and frankly, unoriginal capers, I mean, really, another bank is... Okay, so behind their amateurish antics and unoriginal capers. Antics is just silly behavior. And another word was caper. That means illicit action. So illicit is illegal. It's nothing but a deep well of anger. I ain't angry, you're angry. Denial. Not true. And self-loathing. All right, so behind their amateurish uh, behavior and silly um, capers is a well of uh, denial, anger, and self-loathing. Loathing means hatred. The only one I self-loathe is you. <laughs> Sounds like the snake does not understand what that word means. Self-loathing means self-hatred. He goes, the only person that I self-loathe is you, which doesn't make any sense. And those are holes that no amount of cash or priceless art can ever fill. <laughs> and these comments bum them out. If something bums you out, it makes you upset, makes you feel disappointed. What's on the Food Network? So can we just forget Who, who is she to judge us? And what could be more positive than the annual Good Samaritan Awards, where tomorrow night I will present the Golden Dolphin to this year's Goodest Citizen. She is going to present the Best Citizen Award to this Good Samaritan. A Good Samaritan is someone who does kind things, good deeds. Samaritan. I can't believe I voted for her. You voted for her? What? She's good on climate change. Wait, what's going on? You've got that twinkle in your eye. You've got that twinkle in your eye, that glint. Guys, who's up for another job? A big one. <gasps> the Golden Dog. Seriously? Whoa. I thought I was the crazy one. That job has broken every criminal who's tried it. The Bucharest Bandits, Bucky Jim, the Crimson Paul. Actually, the Crimson Paul was never arrested. Yeah, but he never stole anything again. Snake, what better way to wipe that smirk off the governor's fuzzy face than stealing the golden dolphin from right under her whiskers? Okay, a great sentence. 
what better way to wipe off that fuzzy smirk from that governor's face by stealing this golden dolphin from under her whiskers. I need to explain a couple of things here. The first one is the word smirk, which is a smile that is meant to mock or ridicule someone. Pay attention to the pronunciation of the word there. It's ridicule. It's not ridicule, even though the adjective is ridiculous. Lots of good words there. I hope you've learned something new. And by all means, if you have any questions, guys, get in touch. I'll be thrilled to hear from you. Catch you soon.